Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you about the mind reader. That's right, the mind reader. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in a city which sat at the foot of a mighty mountain, three midwives were busy at their craft helping a new mother to give birth. As they worked, several curious things took place. One curious occurrence was a wolf which began to howl from off in the distance at the very same time as the child's head crowned and the new mother cried out. Also, when the child was born, the three midwives all claimed to have seen a veil over her face. This veil, along with the howling wolf, was a sign from the gods that the child was special and she would have a stronger connection to the powers of the spirit world than normal. There are many gifts, the midwife said, so you must wait for hers to manifest on its own. But do not worry, when her gift shows itself, it will be easy to recognize. When the new mother left with her child, she told her husband all that took place, and the two of them, in complete amazement, wondered what the gift would be. One day, when the child was two years old, the mother was thinking about what type of soup she would cook for dinner, and her daughter said, out of nowhere, cook the soup with potatoes in it. The mother's jaw dropped when she realized her daughter had read her mind. She immediately told her husband, and the two of them rejoiced. A mind reader, they exclaimed. Our daughter is a mind reader. Several years passed, and the parents tried to help their daughter strengthen and control her gift. They created training exercises and tests, and every day the daughter would work to read minds. The daughter continued to come up short, and the parents could not figure out why her gift was no longer working, so they pushed her harder until the daughter refused to even try. The parents, confused, took the girl back to the three midwives and explained their problem. The head midwife said to the girl, Child, what were you thinking about when you first read your mother's mind? How did you do it? How? The girl repeated. Every night, my mother does the same thing. She stands and thinks about which soup to make. I did not read her mind. I only read her habits. I am no mind reader. And so, the morning motivation of today is the mind reader. In life, we all have a gift, something special about ourselves. But sometimes, we get caught up in the cycle of others, where they try to force us to display a gift which is not our own. If a fish were taught that his purpose was to fly and live in the trees, he has just been doomed to fail. And if a bird were taught that he should live in the sea, he would utterly fail to achieve this as well. And so, it is with humans, the same thing. Some of you were prepared to go left, and others were prepared to go right. Follow your heart, and do not be hindered by the misunderstandings of others. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.